Lisa helps her dad, Jerry, go over his bills. Feeling overwhelmed, Jerry states he doesn't want to keep paying for health insurance. You know, he says to Lisa, I'm only a couple of years away from retirement and Medicare. Maybe I can go without health insurance until then. Think of the money I'd save. You can't be serious, Dad, Lisa says, as she explains health insurance protects us by paying for much of our medical bills. Even though you're healthy now, you need protection in case you get sick or in an accident. Jerry admits he was only half serious, but still wonders how they come up with his cost or premium. Lisa grabs a newsletter from Missouri Consolidated Healthcare Plan, MCHCP. Here, Dad, it's all right here. She reads that MCHCP charges members based on how much health services cost and how many services they use. They estimate the total cost to cover their members through the year and then spread that cost among all members. Lisa states that MCHCP members access several health services. Each year, 7% of MCHCP members are admitted to the hospital, 23% visit the ER, and on average, MCHCP members have three outpatient clinic visits, eight office visits, eight lab services, and one prescription each month. I guess that makes sense. It takes a lot of money to cover all those expenses, says Jerry. Lisa goes on. While MCHCP pays for most of your medical coverage and prescriptions, they don't make a profit from your premiums. And it says here, for every dollar you spend, MCHCP spends about $3, paying the balance after you've paid your share. Hmm, says Jerry. I still wish I could keep my health insurance costs down. Well, while we can't prevent every accident or illness, there are some things we can do, Lisa tells her dad. For one, get all the recommended preventive services. Dr. White's been on you to get another colonoscopy. Have you done that yet? Even simple lifestyle changes can help cut costs. Stay healthy by getting enough sleep, eating healthy, and exercising 30 minutes a day. You already quit smoking, so that was a huge step in the right direction. Lisa tells her dad that when her son Aaron hurt his wrist last summer, they took him to urgent care instead of the emergency room. Emergency room visits are expensive for us and our health plan, says Lisa. Dad, we should review your health care plan and make sure you have the right coverage. That's something everyone should do each year anyway. Lisa explains that, depending on the plan, members can take advantage of a flexible spending account or health savings account to help with medical and prescription expenses and save money. Good idea, Lisa. I didn't realize there are such simple things I can do to help keep costs down, and I agree. It's definitely a good idea to keep my health insurance. I'm not getting any younger. For more information, visit www.mchcp.org or call 800-487-0771 to speak with a benefit counselor.